Now it's time for the first fight of the night. And first of all, let me introduce you the fighter in the red corner. The battle will be in category 80 kilograms, full set, KW full contact. Three rounds, three minutes each, with one minute break between the rounds. Your referee, Sensei Zachary Damiano. And now, as I said, from the red corner, from Italy, Renato Prenga! All right, all right, everybody watching Fight TV. We are here, Senshi 13 at St. Constantine and Elena. Uh, my name is Boris Tonev, and here I'm joined by the legend of kickboxing, four-time K1 heavyweight champion, Ashihara Karate master, Mr. Semi Shield. How are you, Semi? Oh, so I'm good. Uh, I'm good today, man. Awesome, awesome. You've been here not only for the Senshi event, but once again to teach and uh, share your knowledge with the participants in the KW International Professional League camp. Tell us how has it been so far? Yeah, it's been great again. Uh, you know, uh, we're now in the Senshi Dojo, in the big gym, and uh, it really goes really good. Yes, and how do you uh, how do you assess the Senshi Gym? What what is your impression of the Senshi Gym? I saw that there are multiple different uh, uh, holes inside. Like you have uh, one with a tatami, one with a ring, with the bags. You you manage to work in all of the rooms, yeah? Yeah, I think all of them are great. Yeah. You know, I, I think it's a, it's a big dream to to train in the Senshi Gym. Especially the strength and conditioning park. I, I really like that it. it's. Uh, it's amazing, all oh, yeah. kinds of stuff there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the power park is really, uh, really amazing. So we're heading into the first fight here. We have an under 80 kilograms division under KW full contact rules, which is basically like the old K1 rules. Uh, we're going to have Joe Miyahara from Japan facing an 18 years old fighter from uh, Italy who will make his debut in the ring of Senshi. Uh, Joe Miyahara made his debut in the ring of Senshi uh, against Nikolai Yorgov three years ago. Uh, he lost in this debut, but he is an uh, All Japan champion from 2018, 2019 WKF Grand Prix medalist, and 2016 WFKO Yambor Cup champion. However, for his opponent, we don't have much information except that he is a Muay Thai fighter and a champion in an Italian organization. So I'm really curious to see how an 18 year old Italian fighter will match up against Joe Miyahara, who has a pretty extensive resume. We see Joe Miyahara with his coach Fuji, who we just heard talking inside the ring. We see that uh, nine years difference between both of them. However, Renato Prenga has the height advantage. If he makes a debut against uh, Joe Miyahara with a win, that would be a huge statement. 18 years of age, first fight at Senshi beats an opponent with bigger and better resume. Let's see how the fight will go. Sensei Zahari Damianov is in the ring as a head referee. Immediately opening with kicks. Renato Prenga attacks the body. While Joe Miyahara goes for the legs. This is a clash of styles between Muay Thai and Karate Kyokushin. Ooh. Good attack. Good boxing attack now by Renato Prenga. He seems very calm and collected. Yes, he looks uh, he looks experienced. Uh, yeah. As a matter of fact. <laughs> well, we know that uh, in Thailand the Muay Thai fighters start uh, competing from four years of age and they fight from a young age. Uh, I know in Italy combat sports are getting more popular, so for sure uh, Renato Prenga has competed since a kid. He's still a kid. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> but so far so good for him. In the clinch, they cannot stay for too long and they cannot attack from there under the KW full contact rules. We're going to see some matches under the KW Senshi rules in which you can attack with elbows and attack in the clinch. Nice counter here by Renato Prenga. I like how he uses the mid kick to the body. We see that. Uh, it's getting red under the left armpit of uh, Joe Miyahara. Again, low kick by yeah. Joe Miyahara. Probably he's setting something up like a high kick like this, yeah. Prenga responding with some high kick of his own and a middle kick. 
Jomia Hara is acting like those kicks don't hurt, but we can see on his body that there's a red mark. And now he hits a couple of punches yeah, to the face. Yeah. <coughs> also, the low kick is really low. Mm -hmm. It's on the calf or just behind, behind the knee. I see that it's really popular even in MMA nowadays that uh, they hit below the knee in the calf. He used that, now we see an inside kick. Again, big kick by Renato. Some wrestling action here, but now they get separated by Sensei Zahari Damianov. And again, the mid kick yeah. by Renato Prenga. So even if uh, the pain is not in the way of Jomi Ahara right now, those kicks mm -hmm. will accumulate and then definitely take a toll on his body and his gas tank in the second and the third round. Uh, let's keep in mind that if the fight is too nice. equal, oh, that was a nice kick. Was a nice kick. If the fight is equal, we might see a fourth round, just like in the old K1 days. And this is the end of round one. Ah, yeah. Pretty even round, in my opinion. Both fighters stayed solid. They were trying to win the center of the ring. Uh, I think that uh, Renato Prenga landed a bit more significant shots. What is your opinion of who took this round? I think this is a very difficult round yeah, for the size. Score. Because uh, the low kicks were, I think, more from uh, Mijara. And the Pranga made some, some good attacks. Yes, yes. So tell us, what was the uh, emphasis on your uh, uh, camp right now, on the trainings that you were uh, holding? What uh, was the main topic this uh, time? Uh, still basic, you know, basic and learn how to look. Look, set up, uh, set up a good combination. Uh, uh, a lot of repeat, repeat, you know. Uh, that's the only way you learn it, by repeating. I, had, my, my I had the pleasure to, to be part of, uh, to look at uh, your first training with the instructors and with the Older, older practitioners and I saw that you were trying to talk and communicate to them and see what uh, see what problem each and every one of them have and try to teach them, teach them uh, different training methods how how could they be better practitioners and instructors this is what really amazed me yes but this is already what I like to do yeah, yeah. Yes. so the fight has started again all right, we see yeah. Renato was pushed to the corner. Yeah. Now he's getting back to the center. I the think ring. Mijara should do that in, in, in the instead. In oh. Yeah, good good luck. Up. Oh, that he was has to get nice close, but then hand. he has to work. I would like to see more boxing from John Mijara right now. Yeah. We see that but he has good hands. I think his uh, kicks will be uh, the, the key in this uh, fight. They're both waiting yeah. for their moment. We saw yeah. for a moment uh, Renato switching his stance there. Yeah. What an amazing opportunity, yeah. just an 18 years of age, to compete in the ring of Senshi. He has to take advantage of it and make sure he takes a victory tonight. Uh, in order to do that, he has to push the pace and be more active. Now a nice right can by Jomi Ahara. Mm -hmm. A little bit Muay Thai. <laughs> yeah. He tried to push with the elbow, but it went uh, was good. No problem. Again in the clinch. Again in the clinch. This clinching is actually uh, really tiring. People Aye. think... Oof. Nice punch, now keep distance again. People think that um, uh, the fighters are resting inside the clinch, but it actually could be really tiring, all this pushing and pulling. That could be uh, strategic. You see more, no, 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 no. more and more Renato is lifting his left knee to block the kicks. I would like to see Joe putting a lot more power in those low kicks to really hurt and take the attention away from the upper body from Renato. Good, good boxing combination by Renato. Yeah, Renato should uh, try to box more. Boxing off. Get, get the distance in the, pun hey, in the punching. Every time he comes in, hey, in the body. Is Renato he, he's, hurt, he's hurt now? I, th I think he's Is hurt he in the body. <coughs> I think he's hurt in the body, but he recovered. Hey, yeah, yeah, again. Again, again. Yeah. Yeah. That's a sign of a great fighter. Even if he's hurt, he doesn't show it. Yeah. 
keeps on fighting. Renato taking his time to recover. Now yeah. again attacking with the middle kick and the right hand. Joe Miyahara pushing the pace now, taking the initiative. Only 50 seco seconds left of round two. Again, he's kicking the left leg of Renato. We see that uh, the left leg of uh, the Italian is getting red now. A right hand and a left hand then. Blood coming out of the nose of Renato. And this is the end, end of round two. two. Uh, pretty close uh, uh, Again, I think it was pretty close. Yeah, until the start. until the body shots, I, I think the, the the round was for Renato, but now yeah. I think it's even again. I think uh, we are going through the fourth round if it uh, goes like this. Yeah, it's really difficult to score rounds yeah. when one fighter is taking the initiative a bit more, but in the end the other one scores a bit yeah. more damage. So yeah. who made it more decisive, like the one that scored more damage or the one was that was leading in charge for the most of the round? But Renato gets his hits, but he does not damage. Mm -hmm. up, up. Well, however this fight goes, I'm sure that this is a great experience for Renato Prenger, just 18, year, 18 years of age, competing at such a high level. You see that he looks so calm, so yeah. composed. He's experienced. He's yes. got a big experience. Uh, look at the marks. Wow. Yeah. Well, this is the division where the speed meets the power, so it's not like the lighter divisions where they're really quick, but oh my Aye. gosh, now a one how, how combination by Joe Miyahara, oh what again happened, a huh? hook, Aye. and another hook. So, Miyahara sees the light. Wow. This is big score, this is big score. They get now, separated now. now. But now, yeah. Renato responding with a boxing combination yeah. of his own. This attack took a lot from Joe Miyahara. Can yeah. he keep up fighting like this now? Yeah, that's the, the question. He's standing with his other leg forward now. Ooh, uh, that was an interesting yeah. nice kick. X kick. Was Uchi. that an X kick? No, Uchigiri. Uchi. It's a reverse Morshigiri. Okay, okay. Reverse roundhouse kick. Hey. Nice punch. Okay, John Miyahara letting his hands go now. Yeah. But he needs to put the pressure. It's really important in the third round to. Oh, Aye, good kick. Good kick from, <laughs> from Renato. Yeah. It's really important in the last round to make a good impression in the judges' eyes. Yeah. So both fighters have one minute and 40 seconds to push the pace now. To show who wants it more, to show who's willing to go the distance and give their all in the ring of Senshi. Joe Miyahara waiting his moment, again attacking the front leg. I'm expecting Aye, yeah. Joe Miyahara to blast with another boxing he, he combination he, he, now. He, I think he needs it. He needs to do it. Some explosive yeah. boxing combination. Yeah. Yeah. Both fighters so loose, so relaxed. Oh, that was a good feint and a low <laughs> kick. Hey, good high kick. Ah, good kick to the body again. I think the weak point is the body. You, could, you, you could should go to the body, I think. You could tell the experience steps in in the third round, like... Joe Miyahara has been more times in such situation and knows how to pull this off, how to pull the win. Yeah, you have to keep on working. You have to keep working. Keep working. Renato yeah. seems a bit baffled, a bit confused. Yeah. He's yeah. not attacking anymore that confidently. 15 seconds until around the yeah, end of round three. Seconds. Very technical fight, very close yeah. fight, but we see a lot of different styles of attacks, a lot of different combinations, we saw some good boxing, some good kicking, and this is the end of round three, let's see how it goes, is there going to be an extra round, I wouldn't be in a rush to take the gloves off, <laughs> no, I, no, me neither, I don't want to be a judge at this moment, <laughs> yeah. I should say third round will go to... Uh, to Mijara. 
but the rounds, the rounds before can can be different. Yeah, but you see the yeah. thing is like, ja, even we we remember the third round, right? <laughs> it's like the third round made a very good impression. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good high kick, but he got two back. That one. And we show the other one also. Yeah, this is again a good. This is a good kick. It's yeah. interesting. He first went to the head and then went to the yeah. body. Usually it's the opposite, right? Usually some people do it. Oh, we're gonna have a decision, all right? Yeah, that's the round. This is a neat decision. All right, let's see how it goes. It's always so difficult, you know, when you're <laughs> looking up to a fourth round. You know, you, yeah. take, you're, yeah. you take the fight to the two or three round fight, and then you have an extra <laughs> round. It's really tough. But the crowd loves it. They love yeah, the drama. They course. love the. <laughs> of course. They might pull them back to the corner. I don't know. No, we're gonna see. Both of them are not celebrating no. beforehand. They're waiting. Usually, yeah. fighters try to jump around and lift their hands. Oh, All right, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for the first fight of the night. This is session 13. The judges has have taken their decision. The first judge, 27 to 29, for the blue corner. Judge two, 26 30 for the blue corner. Judge three, 28 30 for the blue corner. And winner by majority decision, the blue corner. And he makes a decision in the last round, uh, in my <laughs> opinion, in my opinion. Yes, yeah, so Joe Miyahara makes his first win here in the ring of Senshi. Now he is one and one in our organization. Great performance by him. We saw that he used his experience to his advantage and managed to pull the win off. Uh, very good performance in the third round. Uh, he managed to wobble his opponent and make him uh, uncomfortable. Great performance. And now he will receive his award by none other than the Dutch Lumberjang, Mr. Peter Arts. I think also a great perform uh, performance for Renato Prenga. Yes, He's yes. doing a good job. He deserves to be applauded also, yeah, just yeah. 18 years of age. Yeah. In my opinion, he should take it more to a fight. Yeah, yeah. Take the fight. Well, with the experience, it will come the confidence, and the more fights he has, I'm sure he has a bright future in front of him. Peter Art, three-time K1 heavyweight champion, giving the big award to Joe Miyahara and his belt that will hide his scar <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> from all those kicks. Yeah. Joe Miyahara, the most first winner of the night. Prizes for his coach, of course. For the winner, yes. And then prizes for Renato Prenga for this marvelous fight that he gave here and his debut in Senshi. He needs experience and the coach please step in for one picture, then let's 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 be quicker so they guys. Gonna have a group picture okay. now. Great performance. And we're gonna move on to the second okay, fight of the much. night. One more which time. Will Make some noise for the first division, fight of the night. In the under John 70 Villa kilogram Hala division. Sammy, thank you so much for commentating with me, man. I'm yes. looking forward thank to doing it again. Well, it was a huge well. pleasure. I'm gonna See you soon. It will be on the fourth fight. The fourth fight. Okay. Yes. See you later. Thank you so much, man. Yes, thank you. Thank you. All right. Nobody wants to leave the ring, especially the winners. You know that. <laughs> thank you very much, guys. You can now leave the ring. Thank you. Thank you.